Friday at Pizza Flicks. Turn on the AC, it's gonna get hot. Tonight from 1962, beatniks, hot rods, and a jailbird named King Tut scramble over hidden loot buried in the Mojave Desert. Watch for the incredible strange filmmaker Ray Dennis Steckler in an early acting role and the Doll Squad's Francine York as the girl who knew too little. King, two o'clock. I gotta close. So close. I ain't stopping you. Now bring us a couple of refills. It's after two. I can't serve after two. It's a state law. Barney, you want me to come over and mix them myself? Come on, King. Snap out of it. We're gonna sit around here all night and just do nothing. How do you know I'm doing nothing? You don't like what I'm doing? Shove off. I don't need you. What's bugging you, King? What's on your mind? Look, do I ask you your business? If I wanted to tell you, I'd... I didn't mean it that way, but you're sitting there saying nothing, staring a hole in the wall and not doing anything. It's giving me the creeps. So, creep. Lights fill up, man. It's day to me. Get moving. This is it, boy. Meet Preacher and start the roll. What, at three o'clock in the morning? You heard me. I mean now.
I heard you singing. I like it when you're happy like this. Get out of here before Don gets up. You know how suspicious Oh, easy, is. baby. Take it easy. Look, this is our big day. We got lots to talk over. Well, not now, Bill, please. Mm. Now's our last chance, baby. Duke's getting out today and he'll head for this place like a homing pigeon. Doesn't give us much chance to plan for the future, does it, baby? Please, Bill. I've got to open the diner. We can't let Don suspect anything now. Oh, forget that gimpy creep. Look, he gives us any trouble and... Don't talk like that about my brother. He may be a cripple, but he's no creep. Oh, look, baby, I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Well, look, can't your brother open the place without you just once? I said not now, Bill. Now, get up and get out of here while there's still time. All I want is... Hazel? Hazel, you coming? It's getting late. Hazel. In a minute, Don. I'm dressing. Sorry, Hazel. I just wanted to talk to you about Duke. Get out today. He'll be coming home. That's all right. I'll talk to you at the diner.
He couldn't open it. Change the tumbler combination on my lock. His master key won't work. Now you tell me. Mother always said, think ahead, son. Figure all the angles. Walked away. I don't like that. Can't you see I'm in a hurry? If Don comes back. If he my... comes back, I'll split his head open. Bill! Hazel, it's been 12 years, 12 years that Duke's been in the pen. How do you know how he feels about you after 12 years? I saw him last month. I know how he feels about me. Look, he's 15, maybe 20 years older than you. He's an ex con. What's he gonna do for a living? Live off you the rest of his life? Oh, don't underestimate Duke. He's got something in mind. Like what? Like maybe he knows where the money from the truck robbery's hid? So that's it. You're not interested in me. All you care about is that money. Well, let me tell you something. Duke doesn't know what happened to it. And if he did, I'd be the first to know. Now get out and stay out. Look, baby. Nobody but nobody walks out cold on Bill James. Not even you. Like your mother said. Think ahead, son. Figure all the angles. But keep your shoes on. That way you don't get your brain stomped on. In exactly 24 minutes, you'll be out of this place. No strings, no parole, a new lease on life. Except for one thing. What do you mean? Parkinson said he sprung me free and clean. Are you free, Duke? Are you clean? Look, if you got anything to say, say it. Stop beating around. All right, Walker, you want it straight, I'll give it to you straight. Where's the 240,000? Three men were killed over that money and it's never been found. All I want is out. See that he's processed and out of here by nine. Everything all right, Bill? Sure, why? So quiet, usually is so. Guess quiet. I got up on the wrong side of the bed, huh? We do have our off days. Yeah, I guess so. Don't you? Sure, I do, but you, you. Did you see that, Hazel? He limped. He limped just like. I like... didn't notice. <laughs> Maybe it's on account of Duke coming here today, huh, Hazel? How do I know it's eating him? Hazel? Yeah, Doc. I've been meaning to ask. Now that Duke is coming home, what about Bill? What do you keep yapping to me about Bill? Oh, I don't know. I just thought with Duke coming home, it's bound to make a difference. A difference? In what? Bill? You think I don't know, don't you? But I do. What are you talking about? Bill. You and Bill. It was him this morning, wasn't it? been him for a long time now. Oh, Don, stop it. Don't deny it, Hazel. Don't deny it. There's nothing to deny. No. What if Duke finds out? Don, please. But we won't let him find out, will we? We can fix it so he doesn't find out. If you do like I say. Stop it. What are you trying to do to me? Duke has been gone for 12 years. What did you expect? Hazel, you're my sister. I love you. I'm doing this to protect you. Protect me? From who? From Bill. From Duke. They're no good for you. They can only mean trouble for you. You do like I say. This is our big chance. Duke knows where that money is. He's the only one who could know. Well, I never hear the end of that. Duke doesn't know where it is. Why does everybody insist that... Everybody? Who else, Hazel? Bill, maybe? How can you be sure that Duke doesn't know? Because he told me he doesn't. Yes, but how can you be sure? Why did you load my Jeep with all that camping gear? And those supplies? Why? Well... Because he wants to spend some time in the open for a while. Is that so difficult to understand after being cooped up for 12 years? Duke's no outdoor man. He's been a city guy all his life. No, Hazel, it's no good this way. You listen to me. You, you're all I've got left in the world. If you go away, I'll be all alone here. I can't let you go, Hazel. I won't let you go.
sorry, Hazel. I didn't mean what I said. You understand, don't you? I'm such a lonely man. Nobody... Nobody cares. This is the edge of the desert, Tut. What's a big caper? Yeah, where's the action? You're standing on it. If you turn around, you'll see it. Now, what would you want out of a crummy joint like that? A big, fat bundle. I'll fill you in as we go. What if we miss? Tut don't never miss. Now, come on, let's break it up, cats. This looks bad, Phil. What's on your mind? You said this was legit. I got a feeling it ain't. You want out, Pompey? And you want the 500 clams? Sure I do. This looks, uh... Make up your mind. Could be more. Grand, maybe. And uh, nobody gets hurt. I don't like the look of that gang. I feel as though they're up to something. What's the matter with you this morning? You're acting awful jumpy. Only me? How about you? And Bill? He looked like he wanted to kill you. Let's see if I can get rid of him. No, Don, please. But with the pub square. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... I know you're sorry, but what about the rest of your family? It was an accident. Leave him alone, Jake. Butt out, Pompey. Look, it's a long way to your next stop. Maybe you need some gas or something, huh? Yeah, you do that, Daddy, or while we make the scene inside, huh? All right, everybody, inside, Phil. Child time. You're not her type. Type, gripe, snipe. I saw her first. I think you're both cute. Don't fight. Yeah, but you don't understand, sweetheart, you see. I love you. Thanks. What do you have? A dry martini. Sorry, beer's the best I can do. Uh, you and your dry martini. You ready to order? Make it six fast cheeseburgers all around. We're in a hurry. Cheeseburgers coming up. Uh, how far to Mojave? Well, you're on the wrong road. You want 395 back about uh, 14 miles. 14 miles. I'm glad I asked. What are we going to Mojave for? Shut up. You want to clear everything? Let's drive up this joint a little. Okay, preach. Come on. So, uh, hey, what's the big idea, Jack? Pompey! Hands off my girl, punk. Who are you calling punk, you foolie? Pompey, don't! You need a playmate, weasel? You find your own gal. I want to, hero. You'll have to get through me. That's why it's not be so hard. No, Pompey! No, Pompey, don't! What's 
matter? Jukebox gone dead again? No, I pulled the plug. Hurry up with them burgers. You never heard of King Tut, Dal? Well, he was the cat who built the first round pyramid and tore down on all the square winds. Thanks, I love you too. All right, boys? You want some music? No music. You feed all the hungry wheels? He means that you put gas and oil in all the cars. Oh. Hey, you're a real hip chick. Are you sure you don't love me, huh? I'm sure. Give me the time for the work, Skim. Cut the gimp bit, mister. His name is Don. Okay, okay. Don't get sore. Just give me the time and we'll shove off. Gas is 1263. comes to eighteen dollars and thirty two cents. Hey, you have change coming. Keep it, doll. Just remember me next time we meet. Next time we meet? What kind of a crack is that? Hope that's the last we see of that gang. an hour late. Yeah, we passed by the joint first. It's a pushover. Shouldn't have done that. Suppose somebody recognized you. Why, nobody knows me. Besides, I wanted to see who's in the joint before Duke showed. Hey, Bill, who's the doll, huh? Hands off, Preacher. She's private property. Don't blast, man. I Can it, said... Preacher? You sure Duke will show like we figured? Sure, I'm sure. She told me so herself. Confidentially. Jick. See that cat? Yeah, so what? We'll back to that joint we just left and watch for him. The moment he shows, I'll draw it back here. Like a yo-yo, man, like a yo-yo. You're taking a big chance on them, aren't you, Tut? Why, you some kind of prize package? Suppose this cat don't make the scene, Tut, huh? Preacher, if you had more than 200 G's stashed away someplace and nobody knew where, 
If you spent 12 years in the clink for it, what's the first thing you'd do if you got out? Man, I'd home right in on the cash. Well, sure you would. That's exactly what Duke Walker's going to do. All we got to do is let him lead us to it. Thanks for the lift. Don't overdo it. After all, I've just seen you last month. Oh, but you were behind bars then. This is different. Oh, it's so good to have you home again. Yeah. Yeah, I've been waiting a long time for this. So have I. Can I fix you something to eat? You must be awfully hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry, all right. Real hungry. Oh, silly, turn me loose. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? You know my favorite, T-bone and French fries. You'll have a burger and like it. Do I get coffee? On the house. No sweet pea yourself. After all, it's been 12 years since you last seen me. Sure, I look different. Hazel, know you're back? Yeah, she's inside fixing me something to eat. Here you are, one burger. No steak? No steak. Got transportation? Don's loaning us his jeep. Good, thanks. It's loaded and ready to roll. Bedrolls, ropes, shovels? Eggs, potatoes, coffee, the works. Fine. How about a gun? What for? What for? How do I know what'll happen in the desert? Maybe nothing more than rattlesnakes, but everybody takes a gun along. You're not going on any camping trip. You're going after that money. Hazel, don't go with him. There's no telling what he's got in his mind. What do you mean by that crap? Duke. Do you know where the money is? Of course not. You and me is just going camping, the two of us, together. You get caught with that stolen money, you think you'll be together then? That kind of money never did any good. Give it back, Duke. I'll take you two and his partners. With you around to do the heavy work, we could build up a good truck stop in a few years. We'd have a nice business. What, me stuck in a dry hole like this? I'd rather be in the pen. Stay tonight anyway, Hazel. One more night to think things over won't hurt. Our old cabin's still in the back. Snug and warm and comfortable. Well, maybe just for the night. Maybe after tonight you won't want to go. Maybe you'll change your mind. Wait a minute. Anybody been around lately? Guys you don't know? Anybody you never seen before? No. Except a gang that was in here a while ago. What kind of gang? Oh, some punks with the sports cars and girlfriends. Didn't even know where they were going. They asked how far to Mojave. There's Bill. How much do we really know about him? Who's this Bill? Oh, he's 
just an ordinary working guy who rented a cabin here a few months ago. He drives a truck for the borax mill down in Dry Lake. Uh, he acted kind of funny this morning, like as if something was on his mind. He even forgot his lunchbox. Come on, let's go change. I don't want nobody to see me. The windstorms are bad on the desert this time of year, Duke. The sand cuts a man's face to ribbons if he's caught out in the open. It's like glass. Why are you so anxious for me to stay on? You hiding something? No. No, why should I? All right. Come on. Me and Hazel's pushing out like we got planned. Okay, thanks. How about extra gas? There's 10 gallons in the back. Water? Plenty. Good. That's everything, I guess. Let's get out of here. Don't forget the gun. Oh, oh, yeah, thanks. I almost did forget. Well, we'll be back in a week. Ten days, maybe, but we'll be back. In the newspaper, the one with the 240 G's. 240? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't give me that crib. I've seen the broad, but who was that with her? Look, I don't think it's any of your... Answer me, crib! Was that Duke Walker? Yes. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? The desert. Camping. That's all I know. That's all I know. You ruined my paint job, crib. I'm taking out damages. Stop. Put that money on the counter. Five seconds. You hold it right there, Crip. Look at the big man. <laughs> hey, big man, who's going to carry me out of here now, huh? You lousy cripple. You stinking, lousy cripple, you threatening Jicky! You still want to put a hole in Jicky, eh? Not nice. Jicky wants to be friends. You want to play with Jicky? I'll play with Jicky, eh? No? You're yellow. You're all yellow. <laughs> I wish I could stay and play with you, Crip. I wish I could stay. But the king's waiting and I gotta go. Hey, I can't just walk out now, can I, Crip? I gotta put you to sleep so you don't get any idea about the telephone, right? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Crip, I'm taking out damages. It's only fair.
got away. Who got away? I, he must have been inside before I made the scene. Him and the dame, they drove off in the jeep. He said you'd muff the job. I didn't. I was watching all the time. The cat never went in. He only came out from the back of the joint. I didn't have a chance. This would have never happened if you got here on time. Well, the gimp will tell us where they went. I tried that already. He pulled a rifle on me. He said he'd blow holes on us if we came back. Which way'd they go, Jack? East. East, huh? No sweat. Look, there's only one turnoff leading into the desert going east. It's about uh, five miles down the road. Let's travel. they made a turn here. It's the only turn off. Besides, see those tire marks in the sand up ahead? Yeah. They're fresh. Yeah, let's take a look. Here, I see them. Yeah. They're just far enough ahead for us to follow. Take a look. Yeah. Maybe it's better this way. There's an accident in the desert. Who's to know? Looks like a good place to camp for the night. Protection from the wind and nobody sees our lights. It'll be dark soon, Tut. We drive at night, they might see our headlights. So what? We can't follow him forever. We gotta catch up. Look, he's got a gun. Somebody might get hurt. What do you think I got the punks for? That loud radio. No, nah, we'd have made it anyway. You better hope you get to him first. Don't worry, we will. Puppy. Yeah, sir. Take this and cover him from the top. What's the matter? You never seen a gun before? Sure I have. For three years in the army. But I don't want any part of any gunplay. Preacher? Here, you take it. 
Man, I don't know nothing about firecrackers. All you gotta do is pull the trigger. Now get up there. I'm counting on you. All right, the rest of us will get him from the front. You girls stay here. Old buddy, King Tut. Where are you, King? King! Oh, he's the one that was. I'm the one, baby. Remember? Left you a big fat tip. What is it? Some kind of double cross? No, Duke. He was with the gang this morning. One of the hot rodders I told you about. Yeah, yeah, Duke. I'm a hot rodder. Now, ain't that a kick? I asked you if you've seen these strangers around. You said no. Well, they look like a bunch of young punks on the go. I didn't think that they... Wait a minute. What's all this about anyway? If you've got nothing to hide, what are you so afraid of? What has this King Tut got on you? Yeah, tell the little lady, Duke. She's gonna find out sooner or later. Well? There ain't nothing to tell. I don't know what he's talking about. But you do know him. Yeah, we spent time together upstate. So that's it. Come on out, Tut. Let's build a few more round pyramids. I like your sense of humor, doll. But uh, tell Duke to put his gun down. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Nobody will get hurt unless you ask for it. It ain't me that's gonna get hurt, Duke. Preacher, you up there? Yeah, Todd, I'm up here. Fire one, real close, Preacher. Still think I'm bluffing, Duke? All right, Todd. I don't know what you want. But if you make any trouble, I'll take your part with my bare hands. Preacher, keep us covered. Like a blanket, boss man. Sorry I missed you at the diner, Duke. But I brought along my welcoming committee. Let me introduce you. This is Bill James. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I planted Bill up there to kind of keep an eye on things. He did a real good job. The next one's Pompey. He's the quiet one. And uh, the next one's Jick. Be careful with Jick. He blows his stack real easy. Hey, how about me, big cat? Oh, yeah, and preacher man up there. Duke, you and I were buddies upstate. We had a sort of an understanding. Sure, we can't spoil things now, can we? Okay, Duke. That's the way you want it. Hand over your gun. You shouldn't have done that, Duke. It shows I can't trust you. What's this all about, King? Do you mean you don't know? Maybe the doll here can tell us. You leave her out of this. She don't know nothing. No, but you do, Duke, don't you? I never said I did. You never said you didn't either. I'll put you back in the game. Now, how do you want to play it? Real rough or slow and easy? Oh, some company for the little lady here. Let's sit down and talk things over, Duke. There ain't nothing to talk over. You mean you ain't gonna tell us? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? Now, ain't that too bad? Tell me, you always take a long ride out in the desert the day you get out of the pen? Or are you on your second honeymoon you want to be alone? You're wasting your time, King. Maybe you got another reason for coming out here. Like uh, maybe 240 grand worth. Duke, you gonna tell us? Will I turn my boys loose on you? Duke, if you know, for heaven's sakes, tell them. The money's already cost you 12 years of your life. Tell them? Why are you so anxious, you and them? What's going on? Nothing's going on. I don't even know them. The hell you don't. What about him? Where was you all those years I was in the pen? as often as I could? Yes, you did. Once a year, maybe. I was busy. First I had to work to pay off your lawyer, and then I had to work just to live. All right, Tut. You don't know nothing. You're gambling. You're gambling that maybe I know something. But I don't. I don't know nothing! I don't buy that, Duke. You buried it. You buried the loot somewhere in this desert. You as much as told me so upstate. Okay, Chick. Make him talk. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Duke, if you know for heaven's sake, tell him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him before they kill you! 
I don't like it. What's to like? We don't need him anymore. I say bump him and make the broad take us to the bread. Yeah, Jack, here, go ahead, bump him. What's the matter with you guys? All of a sudden you want blood. Well, not me. I don't want any part of it. I think Pompey's yellow streak is getting wider, don't you, Jick? Yeah, a mile wide. Hey, Pompey, Jick says you got a yellow streak a mile wide. Have you? I'll take him on any time, any place. Jick says he's ready now. Says this is a good spot for a chicky run. You game? No, Pompey, don't! Yellow Pompey? You want it, Jick? You got it! Chicky run, Pops. Undertakers and junk dealers love the sport. That's stupid. It could be suicide. Less for me to worry about. Murder? Pat put him up to it. Hey, get away from there! <laughs> Crazy thing, you want to put up with them? Leave him alone! Jig. He didn't make it, Pompey. He didn't make it. Somebody 
Somebody got the idea I'm not king of the clock anymore? Somebody want to step into my shoes and take over? You. Yes, you did it. You killed him. Shut up, you crazy dame. This ain't going to help Duke none now. No, nothing's going to help him now. You killed him. Why oh, I me? Mean, I needed him more than I need you. Somebody better hope this broad knows where Duke buried it. Because nothing's going to get between me and that dough. Nothing! No? Well, you better have a pretty good crystal ball, Buster. Because I don't know where it is. You know. You said you know. I said it so you'd stop beating Duke. Hey, maybe she killed him. She was closest. Did you? No, no. Why would I kill him? Preacher, Poppy, get the shovels. Okay, let's go back to camp. Please, Bill, I'd like to stay here for a minute. I don't know what to say. All those years, wasted. And only one day of freedom. Oh, it just doesn't seem fair. You always met well. You just never had a chance, that's all. Life is like that. All mixed up and cockeyed. Now it's over for you, Duke. It's all She ought to be back in it. Where's the broad? Spread out, find her. She can't be too far off. Not her, we're really dead. Look, Tati. No more rough stuff on Hazel, huh? We better lay off that broad. If she doesn't tow the line from now on, she ain't gonna be with us long. Now start looking. What are you trying to do? Kill yourself? Oh, what difference does it make to you? Where were you running to? I can't hope to get out of here by foot. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was a real heel about Duke. Look, things have changed now, though. We'll pick it up where we left off. Just you and me. Oh, you're running with the rest of the gang. What makes you any different than them? Hazel, please. I never expected things to go this far. Trust me. 
You can use a friend now. What kind of a friend are you, Bill? The kind that spies on people who trust him? The kind that calls on his gang of murderers and kills somebody who never did him any harm? I trusted you once, Bill. That was enough. Look, look, you can't make it alone, Hazel. Together we can outsmart Tut. Together? Oh. It's all you're after, isn't it? The money. Well, that's all anybody's after. Well, I got news for you. I don't know where it is. Duke never told me. Oh, come on. We better get back. We'll talk later. No luck, huh? Not a trace. Nobody could disappear that fast. Yeah, the desert's a mean place. Does funny things to people. Some go nuts and some die. Hey, I heard a snake swallowing whole animals. You, you think she could have been met by a hungry snake? Funny, funny, funny. Hey, here they come now. All right, girls, clear out. We've got a surprise for this dame. She wasn't running. Just shook up over what happened to Duke. She's okay now. Now, ain't that sweet? Lost her head over Duke. Preacher, pumpy. Hey, if you keep out of this, lover boy, you'll get a belly full of lead. Jimmy Joe. Take his gun and keep him covered. Preacher, go get it. You've had it with me, doll. How far is it to where the loot's hit? I told you, I don't know where it is. Can't you guys get that through your thick skulls? I ain't that too bad. What's it gonna take to make you remember? Okay, you've had your fun. Now leave her alone. Why? She hasn't told us anything yet. What do you want her to tell you? Where the loot is. She hasn't said. Where is it? I don't know exactly, but I think I can find it. What kind of answer is that? You want the treatment again, doll? After the war, Duke prospected up here. Sometimes I went with him. Some places he, he did some digging. So? We'll just have to look and dig. Where? Dibble Hold Mine, the Tungsten Mill, lots of places. I'll give you till tomorrow night. If you haven't got the money by then, I'll make you eat this. <laughs> Baby's gonna pop her cork. What's the trouble? Baby's running a temperature tight. She needs water. Yeah, nuts. We barely enough water to drink. So, baby needs a drink. The heat can't make it. We'll dump it. What? And leave her to the vultures? 
Oh, come on, Todd, have a heart. Look, we can pull her. She tows easy, huh? Burn up one of the Jeeps? No dice, Preacher. I've got some water, Preacher. We can't spare it. It's my water. Besides, there might be some at Herb Miller's place. It's just a few miles ahead. How come you're driving, Sue? Pompey's not feeling too well. He needs a doctor. Well, you're out of luck for a doc out here. Pompey, how bad is it? It's bad. Real bad, Tut. I got a pain in my stomach. In this desert. Be coming to a stop soon. Fix you up good as new. Just hold on. I'll try. Preacher's ready to roll, Tut. Let's get moving, huh? You, uh, you like Tut? He's a good Joe. I've had better, I've had worse. Why? Oh, I don't know. Seems to me a nice looking girl like you, find the right guy. You gotta do pretty well for yourself. Let's just skip the whole thing, shall we? Frankly, I'm stuck with a guy I hate. I'm afraid to turn my back on him. I'm afraid I might wake up with a shiv stuck in it like... Like they found in Duke? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Thanks for the tip, anyway. What's this? Herb Miller's old place. This dump don't look like much to me. I'm sorry it's not more tidy. It's the maid's day out. Don't get wise. What's the next stop? The Elmiraj Tungsten Mill. I don't like this place. I'm for pushing out to the Tungsten Mill, dark or no dark. Well, I'm not. Why? Pompey's too sick to be moved. What do you care about Pompey? We can leave him and Sue here for the night. You know, I really misjudged you. You're really a very sweet guy. Poppy's real Bearsville, Tut. Yeah, I know. We're stuck here for the night. Why? The broad, she won't go on account of Pompey. Look, you know what I think, man? I think this is the wildest goose we ever chased. Now, even if she knows where the loot is, I think she's leading us away from it. It could be. It could be right here. So let's go for broke. Thank you. 
on him all the time. And who gave you the keys, Jimmy Joe? You left him in the jail. Are you leading us straight or is preacher right? About what? You know where the money is, but you're leading us away from it. Is that it? Answer me, is that it? Look, you're in the middle of 60 miles from nowhere. If you want to get out of this thing in one piece, you better let go of my arm. Okay. Duke wanted to make a deal. We'll make a deal. Lead me to the money. We'll split it two ways. You and me. I wish I could. So it could bring you and it brought Duke. Well, he didn't do too bad. He lived 12 years with the dream of what he was going to do with her when he got out. He just didn't figure on me. Okay. So we split. What happens to the others? Who cares? Got guts. You got fight. I like that. I can get to like you like no other dame in the world. Like $240,000 worth, maybe? Oh, you catch on real quick, baby. I'd never make any deals with you. Now, look, doll. I'm through playing games. If I don't get the money out of this deal, I'm going to get something. <laughs> King, you're going mad? What's the reason this is Bill? We got nothing to fight about. Feeling any better, Pompey? Not too hot, Hazel. A cup of coffee will be a good right now. I've got some on the Coleman stove. How is he? He's not good, Todd. He needs a doctor. How far to the tungsten mill? Twenty miles. How long will it take to get there? Two, three hours. Depends how the sand's packed. If he can't make it, we'll leave him. Leave him? Well, what more can we do? Moving will only make it worse. Anyway, it'll only take a few hours. We'll pick him up on the way back. Back from where? You asking for trouble? I said I'd pick him up. It's okay. Go on, Tut. I don't feel like going no place. Listen, you leave these kids here and I'm staying with them. Right. It's the best idea you've had in months. You all set, Tut? Baby's tuned and ready to roll. We're leaving your heap here, baby. Huh? I said we're leaving your heap here. You're leaving baby here? No, I won't do it. You can't separate father and daughter. We're leaving Jimmy, Joe, Pompey, and Sue, too. You're what? We'll pick them up on the way back. Let's shove off. Something. 
Yes. He could be looking for us. All of us. El Mirage Tungsten Mill. This better be it. 240 grand. They took out over 2 million in tungsten before it went dry. Never mind the statistics, doll. Preacher, Bill, let's take a look around. Bill! Look at all that beautiful cabbage. Isn't that a beautiful sight, Bill? Sure is. I can't believe it. You can't? Good. Because I don't see you now. Hey, Tut, what are you doing? What are you, joking? For two years we've been on this together, you and me, down the line. I've even done the dirty work. Sure you have. But things have changed, Billy boy. You and the girl wasn't part of the plan. What do you mean? Whiskey and gin, it don't pay to mix them. The dame can't risk her talking. Oh, Todd, come on. There's enough here for all of it, huh? Man, oh, man. Just look at that. You like it, baby? I like wild. Enjoy it. <laughs> Cross, huh, Tut? 
right on down the line. <laughs> That's right. Clay Anderson, FBI. What is all this? They only know me as Bill James. His name is Burke, Tom Burke. He's a private investigator for the insurance company. Investigator? That's my job. Say, you mind if I speak to her a minute? Go ahead. Hazel, I'm sorry. Uh, what are you going to do now? I'm not sure. Really. Tom. Tom Burke. I'm hoping you'll like this guy a little better. Say, hey Anderson. Yeah? One thing bugs me. What's that? How come you and the sheriff's department just happen to show up here in the middle of the desert? Very simple. Don called us from the diner, told us about Tutner's gang and about Duke and his wife going on a little camping expedition into the desert. So? Well, it seems that Duke and Tut were real chummy upstate. The grapevine had it that Tut was the one to watch, so when he showed up at the diner, we knew that something was up. Besides, who goes camping in the desert this time of the year? Yeah, I was getting a little lonely out here. Well, in case you didn't know, we had a helicopter keeping you under surveillance every inch of the way. They saw you bury Duke yesterday morning. What's the story? Ah, uh, Tut figured Hazel knew where the money was. So we did away with the opposition. Well, so since she's not going to be able to testify, do you think you can prove that he killed Duke? No, I can't. But his girlfriend, Jimmy Joe, can. She will, too. Say, uh, by the way, Tut left her and the other two in the desert. Oh, they're okay. Sent a helicopter out to pick them up. They're probably on their way back to town by now. Ah, uh, good. Tell me something about Duke's wife. Yeah? Was she involved at all? No. Uh, Duke lied to her. He knew where the money was, but he let her believe he didn't. Anyway, there it is. A lot of good it's going to do them now. Yeah. That's about it. Well, we should wrap it up. Thanks. You know, Baker, it's a funny thing about coyotes. They always seem to bury each other. Okay, get the money, let's go. 